You know that old saying, if you don't plan, you plan to fail. As most of you are probably rolling your eyes, I know I have when my mom or dad said that to me when I was growing up. After having a business for the last two years, I could not agree with this phase more wholeheartedly. So when I would allow things to get me off track and when I didn't have an exact itinerary of what I was hoping to accomplish that day and at what time I was accomplishing those activities, I would be super scatterbrained and flipped from here to there and never really complete the most important tasks in my day and that is when I started obsessing and learning a lot more about time management and how I could be more productive and proactive in my life and in my business and it has made all the difference for me so I can't wait to share these tips with you to help you organize your day set routines and manage your time effectively I do use this high performance planner but I also like to use a sauna I don't know comment below does anybody like the physical act of writing and checking off goals and day-to-day to-do lists. I love that and I like having a sauna because it's easy to share with my team. So if I want to assign a task to one of my team members, it's easy to do it on there, but I can never get away from the writing down of my daily schedule and my to-do list. I just love it. It literally pumps my brain full of serotonin when I accomplish what I need to accomplish for that day. So I highly recommend it. Before we do get started, if you would please hit that beautiful red subscribe button right below this video. It would mean so much to me. Every week I come out with new content on entrepreneurship, marketing, and mindset. My whole goal is to provide as much value to people who are just starting out or who are new to the entrepreneurship journey and give them as much value as possible so they can be super successful. I hope you find this tips valuable and let me know what you think below and I will um, get started right now. I always start by planning my next day the night in advance. This is so important because I found when I would wake up without a plan, I would start scrolling through my phone and answering emails. I didn't really have a direction of what I was supposed to be doing and I therefore was wasting time. And even worse, I was taking care of low priority things with my time when I could have been focusing on accomplishing my high priorities and goals. Scheduling your night in advance allows you to be super intentional and as productive as possible with your day, which is amazing. Additionally, what I suggest doing is scheduling your three top priorities that you absolutely need to achieve that next day and check them off when you achieve them. If you happen not to get to it because things come up, add it to your to-do list, the top of your to-do list for the next day. This will make sure you're held accountable and that you're accomplishing what you need to accomplish every week. I love using this planner, the high performance planner. I am not an affiliate of them or what anything, but I think it's just amazing. There are all these different prompts, like what are your three top goals or priorities today? What tasks absolutely need to get done today? Morning mindset exercises, to make sure that you start off on the right foot. And then you can schedule things in half an hour increments so you can make sure that you're really deliberate about your time. I even schedule in things like lunch because believe it or not, I will literally forget to eat lunch if I get started in a project and get carried away. So I have to schedule in things like lunch, like my showers, um, my exercise classes so I can make sure that I actually get to accomplish those things and I'm making time for self-care and prioritizing that as well because that is super important. So that is one time management thing. I recommend scheduling things in 30 minute increments. And even if something's gonna take, you know, two hours, I would just do a time block for two hours, but still some things like answering emails or responding to phone calls or having a consultation call only takes half an hour. Any bigger blocks than that are sometimes unnecessary and will allow for wasted time. So I definitely recommend that as well. Third and final tip, which is so, so important, is to avoid distraction. I can't tell you how much I love multi Tasking. I feel awesome, I feel totally efficient and effective. Let me tell you, it's not at all. You get so much less done when you're working on all these different projects at the same time. So be focused in what you're trying to accomplish and you will be able to get so much more done. You won't be half-assing projects and you will put your best into everything that you do. That is huge. If you're working on a project, don't check your email at the same time. Don't scroll through social media, even though you know I love scrolling through social media. Schedule time for that if that's what you need, but be super, intentional about where you're 
spending your time and what you're doing because it's so important and you'll be able to accomplish so much more. Awesome guys, well I hope you found this super helpful. I uh, would love to hang out with you. In the meantime, on social media, I'm posting my link to my Instagram below. Comment and say hi. I would love to get to know each and one of you guys and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Have a great day.